wanted to show you how to work with vectors when you're using your CAS. It's actually really quick as well, so if you're in a situation where you can use your CAS, you want to be using this for vectors. Um, to describe a vector, let's say that you had a vector, um, you know, 2i plus 3j plus k. Let's put that in. So the way that you do that is you need to go to that button there with the little uh, squares on it. And this has got different for, uh, versions of matrices and column vectors and fractions and so on. You want to click on this one here that has sort of three by three. We're going to make our vector up as a row vector. So instead of having three rows, just put one row. We want three columns. The columns are going to represent the x, y, and the z. So let's say uh, 2i plus 3j plus k. That would be what the vector would be represented as in this row. And I'm also going to store this as a vector. I'm just going to call this vector A. So control var to store it, I'm going to call it A. Okay, so that's my vector A. I'm just going to make up another vector now. So doing again this one here, you only want one row because you just want to have your vector displayed in this way. Three columns for the x, y, and z. I'm going to put a negative in here, so maybe a negative one, a two, and a four. I'll just call this my vector B. So this would be negative i plus 2j plus 4k and I'll store that as B. Now we can do things with these vectors. The first thing that you can do is to find the magnitude of a vector. Now magnitude of a vector is given uh, using the command norm, okay? And you can find that using the catalog norm. So if you press N, you can see it has norm for a matrix and norm for a vector. We're, we're looking at a vector. So if we click norm, you can then look for the, the magnitude or the norm of A and it gives it to you as the square root of 14. So the magnitude of A is the square root of 14. We know that because you'd square all the components. So 4 plus 9 plus 1, which is 14, and then you take the square root of it. And you could find the norm for B as well. You can just type norm in. So, nice. You can also do the dot product of vectors. Now, if you're looking for the dot product, again, go to your catalog. Just type in a D to get to the D things. And go down to, oops, I've missed it, dot P. You can see here it says dot p, vector 1 and then vector 2 is the way that it needs to be formatted. So if we do dot p, we'll put the first vector a, comma, b. So this is the dot product of a and b. And you'll see the dot product of a and b is 8. That's a nice one. You can also do the dot product of a vector with itself. So I'm just going to type dot p. I'm going to do a with itself, 14. And what you'll remember is the dot product of a vector with itself, a dot a, is the magnitude of a squared. And you can see here the magnitude of a was root 14, so the magnitude of a squared is 14. So using your CAS for vectors is just a great, quick and easy way of particularly finding um, the norm or the magnitude of a vector and also the dot product. You just need to remember to input the vector as uh, in this form with three columns, one row, using that button there and getting out your matrix uh, form for your vector.